So everybody's talking about MiHoYo's new branding. And that, my friends, is HoYoVerse. HoYoVerse, in my opinion, sounds like the direction Facebook went after titling themselves Metaverse. Doesn't something seem odd about that? We got Metaverse, and now we got HoYoVerse. Quite interesting. But enough with that. Since everybody was talking about it and saying their opinions on the matter, I would like to share my thoughts about it and why I think they decided to rebrand themselves. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory. If we're just going based off of what we've been dealing with and what they've been doing. As you guys know, MiHoYo is originated in China. And since they are based in China, that means one major thing, censorship. The Chinese government has to make sure they regulate every company to their censorship laws. And that's a huge problem for MiHoYo because MiHoYo's original character designs in their gacha games are designed to make them look more lewd than the official release. For example, the exposed panties or exposed skin. But in this case, whenever a video game character in one of their games gets released, it's always covered up. Like, for example, the Mondstadt skins that everybody enjoys so much. But I know for one that I do not like those skins because of the reasoning behind it is because of the whole Chinese regulation on the censorship. And that concludes me to my reason on why I think they changed their name to Hoyoverse. Because I think they're trying to avoid the Chinese regulations for the worldwide audience, for those people that have been wanting the uncensored versions of our Genshin or Honkai Impact characters, this could be maybe a possible chance that we get those designs that we've been wanting. However, I don't think that they will change the characters that have already been made, but if so, that'd be awesome. And you can already see the direction they went with the Kaching and the Ningguang skin. And I think those skins are so much better than the ones that they released for the Mondstadt characters, which I think were selected based on favoritism. Well, there are plenty of other characters out there that have more exposed skin, but don't get censored, which is very odd to me for some reason. And I'm just glad that it's an option for the worldwide servers and not required like in the Chinese servers. So this could be a possible positive change that we're getting. We already have Cognosphere designing the characters. We have a new branding on the MiHoYo label worldwide. So I can't think of nothing else but something positive out of this but i could be wrong i could be wrong about this but some of you out there must have a similar thought as mine a similar take on it and if you do what are your thoughts about it if this really happens to be the direction that i'm thinking of then this could be a big step for hoyoverse as well as us the gamers and all these people out there who complain about characters not being censored enough well there's plenty of more players out there that want the uncensored censored versions because statistically speaking any character with big boobs exposed skin or panty shots get the most sales out of any other character ever same goes to male characters if there's exposed abs v-necks pecs muscles thighs those would sell more than the characters that are censored completely you'll realize it soon enough when you get older because most of you who don't like characters being uncensored are probably underage and not to mention probably some people out there that are actual adults but can't handle a lot of kinky stuff which is fine but yeah that is all Yahoo!